Hey, hey, hey! Welcome back to Melinda's Messy Sink. Today's video is another monthly collaboration video all about cookbook recipes. I want to give a big thank you to Tamara from Southern Wife Everyday Life for hosting this monthly collab. Uh, it's great that she brings all of the different YouTube creators together and revisits the idea of cookbook recipes. For my recipe this month, I will be using the Magnolia Table Cookbook. Um, I found this at my local library and I will have this book information listed in the description box below as well as Tamara's channel and the playlist of all the wonderful creators who have found cookbook recipes for you. For today's recipe, I actually found a slow cooker recipe in um, this Magnolia Table cookbook. Sunday supper beef tips is what we're going to be working on today. Due to being um, a crock pot recipe that needs to cook about eight hours, it's pretty early in the morning. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started and let this cook all day, and then it'll be great by the time um, dinner rolls around. The first step that we're going to do is we are going to season our stew meat with black pepper. And then we're gonna set this to the side. To get started, I have sprayed my crock pot with non-stick non cooking spray and I have added one can of cream of mushroom. I am going to add one packet of Lipton onion soup mix. I'm going to add two thirds a cup of water. and I'm gonna give this a good mix. Next, I'm going to add my stew meat. The only thing that I have seasoned the stew meat with is black pepper. We're gonna break that up a little bit. Next step, I'm going to add canned mushrooms that have been drained, or jarred mushrooms that have been drained. I'm gonna put the lid on and I'm going to cook this on low for eight hours. It is several hours later and our uh, beef tips are finishing up. I'm gonna go ahead and make a, some sides. I'm gonna start with some roasted carrots. I found this recipe on Pinterest. I will have it listed um, in the description box below. I've added melted butter, some salt, some brown sugar, and they listed cinnamon as optional, so I'm gonna spread just a little bit of cinnamon around as well. I have preheated my oven on 400 degrees. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a good mix to get everything coated. And we are gonna let these bake in the oven 25 to 30 minutes on 400. The last side that I'm gonna be making for dinner tonight is just a bag of instant mashed potatoes. I'm gonna follow the directions exactly as written. Our carrots just came out of the oven. I'm gonna give them a quick toss and I'm gonna put them back in the oven for a little bit longer. They're still a little firm for my family, um, but they definitely do not need much longer. And here is our plate for tonight's dinner. Sunday supper beef tips out of Magnolia Table, glazed carrots, and mashed potatoes. And that's a wrap for this What's for Dinner cookbook edition. Thank you guys so much for following along as I started dinner early this morning and put it on the table this afternoon. Wanted to big, give a big shout out to Tamara from Southern Wife Everyday Life for hosting this collab. I will have Tamara's channel as well as the cookbook collaboration playlist listed below in the description box. In addition, I will have the link to Magnolia Tables cookbook and the Pinterest carrot recipe that I used as well today. 
Thanks again for joining. Don't forget, Jesus loves you. I'll see you guys in the next one.